What's up guys, I'm Tech Steve and in today's video I have the iLive Bluetooth speaker. Now this particular speaker is a little unique because it has the Amazon Echo unit built right in. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. Before I show you the different ways to connect it, let me show you what comes in the box. Now when you pull this open, you got the styrofoam, and then you have the iLive unit. You have advertising for a Wi-Fi unit. You have the instruction book here, the advertising for Spotify, a 3.5 millimeter input jack, and a cable to connect it to get it powered up. Now that I showed you everything that comes in the box, let's take a closer look. On the top here, you have two microphones, as you can see. You have some indicators to show if it's charging and also connecting to your wireless uh, network. On the back side, you have your microphone mute off and on. You have your volume rocker. You also have your pairing mode and your play button there. Then you have your different modes, your power input, and also auxiliary input. This speaker can be connected to a device three different ways. The first way is Wi-Fi direct. The second way is also using a Bluetooth connected right to it. And the third way is just using the auxiliary cable plugged in direct. Now let's download the application from iLive and show you how to do the Wi-Fi direct setup. From the Apple or Android store, you want to download iLive Wi-Fi. Once you get that, you want to go ahead and open it up and get ready to search. On the back of the speaker, you want to go ahead and press this power button until you hear it power up. Power on. Wi-Fi mode. Now it's in Wi-Fi mode, go ahead and hit the search button. And you can see on the top here, you're going to have some different indicators blinking right there. Now you're going to add a device. Now I previously added the password in. Go ahead and hit next. And if you have the router that has the WPS button, you can actually do that right here. Very easy. Wi-Fi connected. So once you have it all connected, it's going to ask you to update the device to the newest operating system. The second way is, again, to connect the Bluetooth direct. So let me show you how to do that. You want to go to your Bluetooth setting, and then you want to power your speaker off. Power off. Once you power it back up, Power on. Wi-Fi mode. That's Wi-Fi mode, but then you can tap this. Bluetooth mode. And now this in Bluetooth mode, you should be able to hit the pairing button. Bluetooth is connecting. And now your device is right there. Bluetooth connected. So as you can see, that's very easy to connect. And then the other part is just plug in the auxiliary cable right here on the back of the unit and plug it on your headphone jack or your auxiliary output. Now that I showed you a different way to connect, let's go ahead and connect the Alexa unit and get it up and running. To set the Alexa unit, you want to put it back in Wi-Fi mode. So if you did everything correctly, now you want to go ahead and hit the power button, see if it connects to Wi-Fi by itself. Wi-Fi connected. Now we have the Wi-Fi connected. Let me show you how to finish connecting the Amazon software to this device. With the iLive application, you have a whole list here, but let's hit the Amazon Alexa app. Login unsuccessful. Please try setting up your Amazon account via your mobile app. Now let's go ahead and sign in. Now we sign it in, you want to go ahead and give it the rights to talk to your Amazon account. Hit next, and now it should be ready to go. Now I got everything set up and ready to go. Let's do some tests and see if it actually does everything that the main echo unit does. Alexa, turn video light off. Okay. Alexa, turn video lights on. Okay. Alexa, what's the weather like today? Right now in San Diego, it's 69 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has mostly clear skies, with a low of 63 degrees. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the golfer take his chauffeur onto the course? His caddy said to bring a driver. <laughs> so, so as you can see, it has all the full function of the full uh, echo unit. All right, so to get through the different modes uh, to listen to music or other sources, you just tap this. So I'm going to put in Bluetooth mode so I can play some music from my phone. Bluetooth mode. And mind you, when you do that, the Alexa unit shuts off. Alexa, Alexa, you have to go back into Wi-Fi mode to be able to get that feature. So let's see what the speaker sounds like. I have this microphone right here, so I'm going to move it around so you guys can get a kind of idea Bluetooth what it sounds connected. like. Bluetooth connected. 
You got your volume right here. Overall, I tried a lot of different tests off camera and it really performed just as well as an echo unit. Some of the downsides of it is that you cannot add an external set of speakers on it, but you also have the portability that makes it kind of worth it that you can move this around your house. The Wi-Fi Direct allow you to do a few other things like you can add multiple of these to your uh, audio system and you can play them all at one time. So if you like this video or are interested in buying one of these, please again look in the description below. And like all my videos before, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.